and welcome back to Bookish Brits. My name is Michelle and today I would like to talk to you about one of my favouritest authors, Melina Marchetta. Now when the Bookish Brits, uh, when all of us got together to decide on this theme for February, I thought it was an amazing idea and there were so many different things that I could talk to you about. I love reading and I love different authors and I love UKYA, you know, so many things. So it was really hard for me to narrow it down to one thing. That as soon as I saw these books on my bookshelf that this is definitely the books that I would have to talk to you about today. The first book by Melina Marchetta that I bought was actually Angelica Road because I'd heard so many amazing things about it, but it actually sat on my shelf unread for a very long time, mostly because I was very intimidated to read the book. Um, a lot of people raved about it, and I didn't want to be one of those people who didn't enjoy the book. So instead of reading this one the first, I actually picked up her first book um, that was published, Looking for Ella Brandy, um, I, I guess this is the, the movie cover version. I've not seen the film, but I really want to. Um, this is a story about Josie, this 17 year old girl living in Australia. Her family are Italian and um, she's kind of stuck between these two cultures of um, being, not really, you know, of being of Italian descent, but living in Australia, which um, was different from the people around her. And this is definitely something that I could really relate to being um, mixed race myself. I didn't really connect either to my native Alaskan heritage or, you know, everyone else around me. So this aspect in particular of Josie's story was one that really got to me and there is something that's really emotional that happens and I was just crying through the last quarter of the book. It was really, really good and I really recommend that you get it. Now on the strength of looking for Ella Brandy, I went out and immediately found a copy of Saving Francesca. Um, now this book has had many different covers um, and my copy is quite a large format paperback. Um, it came to me with these yellow pages and these dog-eared um, corners, but I still I will never get rid of this book because it was something that really, really had an impact on me. Now, this book is about Francesca and her family. She's got a little brother. You know, her mom's going through a really um, bad time of it. And Francesca is also in the process of moving to a formerly all boys school into a school that now accepts girls. So Francesca is put into these really difficult position uh, with, with school, um, finding new friends, and definitely with her family. I really loved um, how Melina Marchetta tackles the depression of um, Francesca's mother in particular. It was one of the first books that really that I read that I really thought uh, conveyed um, all of those things incredibly well and I love 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 this group of friends that Francesca meets in her new school. It is wonderful and is something that Melina Marchetta returns to in later books. Now after reading Saving Francesca and loving it to absolute bits, I thought it was probably time to finally, finally read Jellico Road. And um, now while um, Jellico Road was slightly confusing and difficult to get into at the start of the book, um, everyone that I've ever spoken to who had read Jellico Road, um, they all advise to just keep going with it. It will be worth it um, once you get through the first hundred pages or so. Everything that they said about this book is true. It's absolutely amazing. It's telling two stories at once. Um, and, and, you know, I find it really incredible how much emotion gets poured into every single page of Melina Marchetta's stories. She does the most amazing characters and relationships and Jellicoe Road is 
a wonderful, wonderful story, one that I am never tired of recommending. This is the story of Taylor and Jonah and the circle of friends that they accumulate at this school, as well as the story of another group of students many years before and the way in which these two stories are linked. It's beautiful. Um, I've never read a book in which I had to put little post-it notes on all of my favourite quotes. Um, it's a, definitely a book that I would recommend that you read. Now, um, I mentioned before when I was talking about saving Francesca that um, she returns to the, that group of friends and this is that book. It's called The Piper's Son and there has never been a book in all of the, you know, out of all of the books that I've ever read. I don't think that I cried as much as I did when I, um, when, as when I did when I read The Piper's Son. It is absolutely heartbreaking. Um, you know, there's, it's, it's not so much that, um, really traumatic things happen in this book, but it is the way that every feeling within the book, every complicated emotion um, I began to feel myself and it was it was just so overwhelming. I remember I read this book and one of my Goodreads updates um, was that this book, The Piper's Son, had just broken my heart into a million different little teeny tiny pieces and I didn't know how I would ever recover from this book and it is, you know, it's still you know, I still feel that way about this book. It is so, so good. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful book about family and friendship and, oh, my heart is breaking a little bit right now just thinking about this book series of fantasy books and I do have the first book in that series, Finnegan um, of the Rock, but I have not read it yet. Um, I do have the sequels downloaded onto my Kindle. It's something that I'm always really looking forward to and I know even in a different genre of writing that this book will be incredible but there's part of me that just doesn't want to read it yet because once I do read it and I read the sequels, that will be it. So I'm kind of I'm kind of waiting for um, Melina Marchetta to write another contemporary book and then I will feel a little bit better about starting and finishing the last of her books. But, you know, the thing that I love the most about these books are definitely the beautiful writing style, the emotion-filled stories and relationships and, um, you know, all of, you know, Melina Marchetta is an Australian author and after reading and loving these books, I have definitely picked up and read other wonderful books by Australian YA authors like Simone Howell and Kirsty Eager and Marcus Zusak and loads of other really great authors. Um, but honestly, these books will always remain with me um, and I will love them always. Okay, so I love Melina Marchetta's books. <laughs> Let me know what you love. Um, have you read any of these books? Who are your favourite Australian YA authors? I'd love to hear from you. Leave comments down below. Thank you and goodbye.